How to Study by Ron Fry is a comprehensive guide to help students of all ages and levels of achievement improve their study skills and achieve academic success. This seventh edition of the book contains nearly 1,000 pages of practical advice, tips, and strategies that are designed to help readers become more effective learners. Before we begin, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest book recommendations, reviews, and all things related to the wonderful world of literature. Let's turn the page and start our literary adventure. The book begins with an introduction that sets the stage for the rest of the content. Fry emphasizes that learning should not be painful or boring, but rather an enjoyable and rewarding experience. He acknowledges that studying can be challenging at times, but assures readers that his book will provide them with the tools they need to succeed. Chapter 1. Setting Goals and Developing a Plan The first chapter of the book focuses on setting goals and developing a plan for achieving them. Fry stresses the importance of having clear objectives and outlines a step-by-step -step process for creating a study plan. He also provides tips for staying motivated and overcoming obstacles along the way. Fry suggests that students should start by identifying their long-term goals, such as graduating from college or getting a job in their chosen field. From there, they can break down these goals into smaller, more manageable steps. For example, if your goal is to graduate from college with honors, you might break this down into smaller goals, such as earning good grades in your classes or completing all your assignments on time. Once you have identified your goals, Fry recommends creating a study plan that includes specific tasks and deadlines. He suggests using a planner or calendar to keep track of your schedule and breaking down larger tasks into smaller ones so that they are more manageable. Fry also provides tips for staying motivated throughout the process. He suggests finding ways to reward yourself for achieving your goals, such as taking a break or treating yourself to something you enjoy. He also recommends seeking out support from friends, family members, or mentors who can provide encouragement and guidance along the way. Chapter 2. Time Management the second chapter is all about time management. Fry explains how to prioritize tasks, avoid procrastination, and make the most of your available time. He also provides practical advice on how to create a schedule that works for you and how to balance your academic responsibilities with other aspects of your life. Fry suggests that students should start by identifying their most important tasks and prioritizing them accordingly. He recommends using a system such as the Eisenhower Matrix to help you determine which tasks are urgent and important, which are important but not urgent, which are urgent but not important, and which are neither urgent nor important. Once you have identified your priorities, Fry recommends creating a schedule that includes specific times for studying as well as time for other activities such as exercise, socializing, and relaxation. He also provides tips for avoiding distractions and staying focused on your tasks. Chapter 3. Note-Taking The third chapter of the book focuses on note-taking. Fry explains why taking good notes is essential for effective studying and provides practical advice on how to take notes that are organized and easy to review. Fry suggests that students should start by using a system of abbreviations and symbols to help them take notes more quickly. He also recommends using headings and subheadings to organize your notes and making sure to include key information such as definitions, examples, and important detail. 
Fry also provides tips for reviewing your notes after class or while studying. He suggests using different colors or highlighting important information to make it stand out, as well as creating summaries or outlines of your notes to help you remember the main points. Chapter 4. Reading. The fourth chapter is all about reading effectively. Fry explains how to approach different types of reading materials, such as textbooks, articles, and novels, and provide strategies for improving comprehension and retention. Fry suggests that students should start by previewing the material before they begin reading in earnest. This can involve scanning headings, subheadings, and bolded text to get an idea of what the material is about. He also recommends taking breaks while reading to avoid fatigue and improve retention. Fry also provides tips for active reading, such as underlining or highlighting important information, asking questions about the material as you read it, and summarizing what you have read in your own words. Chapter 5 Memory Techniques The fifth chapter of the book focuses on memory techniques. Fry explains how memory works and provides strategies for improving memory retention. Fry suggests that students should start by paying attention when they are learning new information. He also recommends using mnemonic devices, such as acronyms or rhymes, to help remember information. Other techniques include visualization, repetition, and association. Fry also provides tips for reviewing information to improve retention. He suggests using flashcards or creating summaries of the material to help you remember key points. Chapter 6. Test-Taking The final chapter of the book focuses on test-taking strategies. Fry explains how to prepare for different types of tests, such as multiple choice, essay, and open book exams. Fry suggests that students should start by reviewing their notes and studying materials well in advance of the test. He also provides tips for managing test anxiety, such as deep breathing and positive self-talk. Fry also provides specific strategies for different types of tests. For example, he suggests using the process of elimination when answering multiple-choice questions and taking the time to read and understand essay prompts before beginning to write. Throughout the book, Fry emphasizes the importance of developing good study habits and sticking to them consistently. He also stresses that effective studying is not just about memorizing information, but about understanding it and being able to apply it in real-world situations. In addition to the practical advice provided in each chapter, how to study also includes a variety of resources for readers. These include online resources, such as websites and apps that can help with note-taking, time management, and test preparation. The book also includes sample study plans, and schedules that readers can use as templates for their own planning. Overall, How to Study is an excellent resource for students who want to improve their study skills and achieve academic success. The book is well organized, easy to read, and filled with practical advice that readers can put into action immediately. Whether you are a high school student preparing for college or an adult learner looking to improve your skills, this book has something valuable to offer. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our future updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.